busy Sunday mornings, hiding under covers. I don't mind staying in with you. Play your favorite movie, laying right beside me. Hey guys, it's Kristen. Welcome or welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, I am in my last semester of a Doctor of Physical Therapy program, and this is week 10 of 12 of my pelvic floor full-time clinical rotation. So crazy, I only have two more weeks left after this. Time flies. And then I go back to Georgia to finish up my classes for just two weeks, take the NPTE, and then I graduate. So I'm so happy, nearing the end, finally. It's been a very long PT school journey, and I've been documenting since the very beginning. So you can go back and watch early, early days of PT school if you want. But I'm about to head to clinic at 6 a.m. I have to be there at 6.45, and it is a little bit of a drive away. Nothing too exciting this week. I am presenting my in-service on Thursday and it is about like exercise and the importance of the menstrual cycle in physical therapy, specifically like with more intense athletes. So that is kind of the big highlight of the week. Other than that, I just have a full day full week of clinic studying for the MPTE and I do have a wedding this weekend in Atlanta. I dressed really cozy today, this nice little sweater from Francesca's and my Brooklyn pants from Athleta because it's a Monday so we're going to be as comfy as possible. Baby, see me scorsese. I missed that little feeling when I kissed your face. Guys, I'm back from clinic. It is about 4:15, and I am dragging. Daylight savings is real, and it is hitting me so hard. Yesterday, I didn't even notice it, probably because I just slept in. Teddy just jumped on my bed. If you could hear that, but I didn't feel tired at all yesterday because I just slept in. But today, having to wake up at 5:30, which I guess is technically like 4:30, and it being pitch black outside, I just have been dragging all day long. So I'm about to make some coffee because I need to study for the NPTE tonight for at least a few hours and work a little bit slash practice presenting for my in service. So let's go make some coffee. Like fighting, so it's so. my desk the coffee has been secured the creamer i use is so good it is the chobani sweet cream and it tastes pretty similar to like a like a sweet cream cold brew if you get at starbucks so definitely recommend also i didn't show you guys my nails i got them done this weekend because i am going to a wedding soon and i will flip you guys around and show you what they look like Here's what they look like. They are this really cute baby pink with these little baby flowers on them. And they're the absolute perfect length to where I won't hurt any patients, but they still look really cute. So I just finished making a Quizlet. If you didn't know, I'm so sorry if I'm being repetitive if you guys watch my vlogs regularly, but I'm taking the NPTE a little over a month now, the end of April, and I'm using NPTE Final Frontier to prepare. Basically, they have three two-hour lecture videos per week and then readings every day to supplement. So Monday is a day we don't have a lecture assigned. We just have a reading. So it is a little bit one of the lighter days. So I've been using my Mondays to make quizlets and review sort of the lectures from the previous week if that makes sense. So last week there was two lectures, um, well three, so one on gate and then two on other systems. So I went ahead and made some quizlets for the other systems because that's like a lot of sort of pure memorization things, lab values, referred pain patterns, stuff like that. So I made a quizlet, it's 92 cards. So but that's a good way to learn that sort of information. So we're about to eat dinner, but after that, I'm going to review that quiz it, really get that information in my brain. And even if I don't learn it all tonight, it's just good to have that quizlet readily available because when we get closer to the test, then I have all these study materials prepped and I can just spend a lot of time going through all the quizlets rather than like hundreds of PowerPoint slides and notes. It's just all sort of condensed in one place because there's certain things you can't learn six weeks before the exam. Like I'm not going to remember the exact referral pain pattern for every single organ in the body if I study it today on April 26th. So that's just how I feel. If you're taking the NPTE, let me know how you're feeling about it and any advice from people who have already taken it would be highly appreciated. Sunday mornings hiding under
covers I don't mind staying in with you Good morning guys, happy Tuesday. I just did a 20 minute yoga with Adrian YouTube flow. It was called energy I'm pretty sure because we need some energy here. I am still dragging from daylight savings but today I don't have connect till 10 30 as always on Tuesday Thursdays so I usually do yoga these mornings because Teddy's chewing on a loud toy. Um, I usually do yoga these mornings because I don't want to like Peloton or go to the gym because that takes longer and then I get sweaty and then I'm rushing to get ready in time. So it's only 8 12 and I already got a nice little mini workout in. So I'm going to get ready quick and try to read an article or two for Final Frontier this morning before clinic because when I get home at 7 30, I never want to do anything. So I hope you all have a really good day. We don't have any evals today in clinic, so I will just be treating today. This is literally Teddy every single time I do yoga. Ted? He gets his toys out of his basket right there and he just he just likes to hang out. I am headed to clinic. I was able to read about 10 out of 20 pages of my reading, so I'll just finish the rest tonight. I'm wearing this big cozy purple sweater from Ann Taylor Loft and these black dress pants. They have these like little baby mini mini dots on them. They're kind of hard to see. But very comfy today, so it's going to be a good day. I'll let you guys know how it goes tonight. Hello, guys. I just got back from clinic. I stopped and got Hip City Veg on the way back, which is a really good vegan restaurant that has, like, vegan fast food. I'm on FaceTime with my boyfriend, Austin. You guys know him. Hey, YouTube world. It's pie day today, so they brought us pizza for lunch. I wish I could say the same. <laughs> okay, say bye. <laughs> bye. Goodbye, friends. Bye. So I'm going to shower quickly so my hair has time to dry while I'm studying, so I'm not going to bed with soaking wet hair. I don't have much to do tonight. Like I said, I got most of my reading done this morning, so I'm just going to finish it up and maybe read my book that I'm reading for fun right now rather than something physical therapy related just to get my mind a little bit of a break because it never works this late after the Tuesday, Thursday late shift. <laughs> Tomorrow, Another day, 7 to 3.30, and then I'm actually touring an apartment right after. I absolutely love touring apartments, so it's going to be so fun. And it actually is the apartment that me and Austin, who you just saw on FaceTime, I actually should have had him tell you guys about this, but we are moving in together. So he is moving up here to Pennsylvania in like the next two months, like sometime in May. So we saw there was an apartment with a listing lease date starting then, and it's really nice, and it's where we're looking to live. So I hope I like it, and I hope we can sign for it. I'll definitely take videos while I'm there because I need to send them to him anyway, so I will insert them in this vlog for you guys to see as well. Good morning. It is Wednesday. It is 6 a.m. These days that I have to be up at 5.30 absolutely kill me. It is so difficult every single time. I did get a hatch, though, a couple of months ago, and that definitely helps when I have to get up early, but doesn't help that much because I'm still really tired. We don't have any evals today. Um, we actually don't have any all week because we have so many patients on our caseload right now with returns. We're just managing those. So I'll get to see some of my returning patients, which will be nice. And then I head to my apartment tour straight from work and should be home maybe around 5 p.m. So it's going to be a busy night. Ted, you got to go out. Wake up. I literally made my bed around him because <laughs> he didn't want to get up. Hello guys, it is 6 p.m. I am back from my apartment tour way later than I was expecting, but the good news is it's still so light outside. Daylight savings is kind of making up for the very dark, dreary mornings because I have so much to do tonight, so the fact that it is not dark out right now makes it so much better. I'm about to grab some Chipotle because my parents told me I'm on my own for dinner tonight and I am starving. And Chipotle is just like the best food to have when you are super, super hungry. I did really like one of the two apartments I toured. I actually was supposed to only tour one, but then I didn't like it and I saw there was one next door. So I just kind of scurried over because I did really like the area I was touring in. And luckily I really liked the second one and I'm feeling pretty good about it. I'm waiting for Austin to get home from work so we can FaceTime and talk about it because unfortunately he can't tour with me because he's still in Georgia. So it's kind of up to me to go on these tours and take videos and get all the details. So I'm feeling good about it. Hopefully everything works out the way that it should. Tonight I need to practice for my in-service, which is tomorrow. I'm so nervous for it because the whole staff is going, which is like 30 to 35 very, very smart, brilliant physical therapist. I'm really nervous to present to them, but I've put a lot of work into my project and I think it's pretty interesting. I've really enjoyed 
researching and learning about my topic, which is sort of the importance of the menstrual cycle and physical therapy, and not just for pelvic floor PTs, but really any sort of PT. I did a ton of research on injury risk at different phases of the cycle, kind of screening for normal versus abnormal cycles, what this can be indicative of if you are low in estrogen, high in estrogen, different things like that. So I hope that they enjoy it, but I need to practice tonight to make sure I got my flow down and know what I want to say. And then I also am supposed to watch a two-hour lecture for my final Frontier cohort, but we will see how that goes. That might need to be pushed till tomorrow night, depending how I feel about my presentation, if I feel confident with it. But I'm going to get my Chipotle and be on with my night because the night is young, the sun is up, it is nice and bright. Hi everyone, my name is Kristen Nicolosi, and I'm going to be presenting to you all today about the importance of the menstrual cycle in physical therapy. So just an overview of today's presentation, I will start off with an anatomy review of the different phases of the menstrual cycle as well as the different hormones that are dominant in each phase, talk a little bit about what is considered normal versus abnormal in the menstrual cycles, the impact of oral contraceptives, going into some of the current top research in regards to exercise, performance, athletic performance, injury risk, and the menstrual cycle, and lastly, ending with some exercise considerations. So you're probably wondering, how does this apply to me if I'm not a pelvic floor specific therapist? So for everyone, in the research, it has been shown that injury, injury risk fluctuates throughout the menstrual cycle. So this is something that all of us should be aware of and something that is super important. And based on these fluctuations in injury risk, joint laxity, biomechanics throughout the cycle, this is then going to impact our exercise prescription, specifically for our higher level athletes that are training very intensely. Also, if someone is having irregular cycles, this can be a sign that their body isn't at their healthiest and potentially lead to impaired healing time, which we will talk more in depth about in future slides. Like fighting, so it's so So I went to the eye doctor last week and I need new glasses. So I did the Warby Parker where they like send you five lenses and you got to send them back. So I'm going to try them on and see how they look. All right, guys, I think these are the winner. These are the Nadia glasses. They are super cute, sort of cat eye looking like glasses. Very similar to the ones I already have, but I need new lenses. So. Hello guys, it is Thursday morning. It is about 10 o'clock, so I have to head to clinic soon. I've been up for a while because I got ready for my presentation. I actually decided to wear some makeup and curl my hair, and I'm wearing this new shirt from Nordstrom Rack. I got it last week, and I was like, I'm going to save it and wear it the day of my presentation because when you're wearing a cute shirt, you always feel more confident. So I did run through my presentation twice this morning, and I am feeling pretty good about it. I'm going to listen to a podcast about the menstrual cycle on my way to clinic to hopefully learn just a little bit more in case I have any questions that people ask. I don't feel as nervous now that I've practiced, and I'm just excited to educate everyone because I feel like this is a topic people know nothing about. I didn't know anything really about it until I went and did the research for this project. So I'm really excited. I might upload the PowerPoint for you guys if that is something that you're interested in. But I hope you all have a really great day. My little brother is coming home from college today, so that's exciting. I'll get to see him for the first time in a while. And that is all. I just have my in-service and I will feel so good when it's over because this is like one of the last big projects I have for PT school in general. I only have two more weeks of my rotation and then I'm pretty much done. So that is so exciting. I hope you guys all have a good day. Hello everyone, it is 7.30. I am home from clinic and my in-service presentation went super well. There was a really good like 15, 20 minute discussion at the end. So I think everyone was super engaging and had a lot of questions. So that's always a good, exciting thing. They wanted to learn more about my topic. So that's always a really good feeling. Another very excited thing that just happened, Austin and I applied for and got the apartment that we toured yesterday. So I'm absolutely so excited. We will be moving in May 1st, which is right after I take my boards exam, but technically before I graduate, but I'll have nothing from like April 29th until 
I graduate May 14th pretty much. Maybe a few Zoom meetings here and there, but nothing, nothing too crazy. So I'll have lots of time to move in and decorate our apartment. And I'm so happy because if you didn't know, we have been on and off long distance for the past year or so because I've been doing my clinicals mostly in Pennsylvania. And he finally is moving up here because he got a new job and finished his master's. So I'm so proud of him as well. Tonight's gonna be really busy. I need to edit this vlog and I need to pack because I do have a wedding this weekend in Atlanta actually. So I need to start packing for that because I'll be leaving tomorrow night. Not until like 7.30 p.m. but I have clinic till 3.30 so I don't wanna be scrambling to pack once I'm out of clinic. So I'm gonna do that and also have dinner with my little brother because he is about to be back from the airport any minute now. I came home and he had this cute little Georgia bandana on him that my mom put on him and she also brushed him so he looks so cute he looks like a little puppy when he's freshly groomed and he's so cute you're the best good morning it is so early it is 6 a.m it is friday though and it is also saint patrick's day so happy saint patrick's day i'm wearing a green sweater today to celebrate and be just a little bit festive. A little earlier today because I've been finishing up packing for the wedding because I am leaving for the airport pretty much as soon as I get off of clinic today. I'm gonna go make my coffee and head to clinic for the day. It's crazy that after today I only have two more weeks. This isn't as bittersweet though as some of my other last clinics because I'm going to be working for the same company. Hello so. everyone, I'm back from clinic and my clinical instructor got me a gift. There are these little socks that have flamingos on it because there's this like inside joke at my clinic where Fridays are flamingo Fridays and everyone wears pink. Not today because it was St. Patrick's Day so everyone was wearing green. But every other Friday people try to wear pink and a lot of people have flamingo socks. So she bought me my own pair which I think is so nice and she said it was just because I finished my big presentation yesterday which she said I did such a great job on and I got accepted into a residency program if you didn't watch my last video. And it's actually with the same company I'm doing my rotation at right now. So she was so sweet and gave me some socks. But today was good. Nothing too exciting. Full day of treatments, treated a lot of patients. I had to say goodbye to one of my favorite patients because she doesn't have another appointment for a few weeks and I only have two more weeks left. So that is always so sad, but she was super nice and said really nice things and we hugged and I'm gonna miss her a lot. But I have to end this vlog because I am about to go to the airport and fly to Atlanta for the weekend. So I wanted to thank you guys so much for watching, especially if you made it up until this point. I love you all so much and I will talk to you in my next video. Bye.